Hey, how's it going? You may have seen some of my videos about uh, getting time code into GoPro uh, and DJI drones. This one is pretty exciting because um, on the last production I worked on, um, we used tentacles. And what the tentacle does is it gives you the ability to turn your phone into a um, slate, basically. So if you need to slate your shots, Turn the tentacle on. If I press and hold, now it's it's going to generate its own time code. So if I was on a production, I would sync this up to the audio guy or the master clock, and then I would basically be on the same time code as everyone else. And now this is showing the time code that's coming from the tentacle. And on this last gig, I was on. The, every single camera guy and audio guy had one of these. So everybody was on exactly the same time code. So I was able to at least show that to my GoPros and my uh, drones and um, have, you know, slate my shots. But my time code that the GoPro is actually putting on the footage is still not quite right. Um, and they did, the awesome David Newman did come up with a feature in the QR control app that um, lets you jam sync based on um, matching, uh, counting, doing the calculations for frame since midnight. Um, if, if my sound guy would tell me when he jammed all the slates, then I could put that into the QR control app and it will get it very close. Um, but still, there's a little bit of a fudge factor there. So I had the idea um, when I started using this tentacle, what if the tentacle app would show that same QR code and then it could be exactly synced to the slates? Uh, so I reached out to the people at tentacle and they were into it and they've done it. So this is really exciting. Um, it's still in beta, so it's not gonna be available to everyone just yet, I don't think. Um, I'm having to run it through this uh, te special testing app on the iPad. Um, but basically, let's see if I go back here to full screen time bar. Just had to find my tentacle. Um, so, You'll see on the video right here now, um, the time code is not right. Uh, I'm gonna start up this other GoPro. I'm gonna set my settings to video. If you don't use GoPro Labs, you need to start there because basically I just showed it um, all these video settings and it, it automatically switched all my settings to that. Um, and also I'm gonna just put time and date um, and it'll just basically put it to time of day. So now when I run this, I'm using this as a slate, which I would be doing in the field anyway, although I'd probably do it on a phone instead of a giant iPad. And um, there's the time code for the for post to see. But then here, I'm actually able to flash this code at the GoPro and it's reading it. Now I have to turn the GoPro off in order for it to uh, change its time code, but watch this. I'm turning it off. Now I'm reading that. Now I'm starting it back up. And now our time code is identical to that. Now, just for kicks, set this down for a second. I'm gonna stop this camera and I'm going to get it on the same time code as well. Ready? Okay, I've started it back up now after flashing this. Give it that QR code and you can hear it beeping. Um, and that should be dead on. It's, uh, it's getting it in under a second. And generally for GoPros, that's good enough. So if you're a POV guy, for instance, and maybe setting up five or 10 
GoPros on a show or like on um, some of these uh, renegade shows, they'll use 30 or 40 GoPros in a house um, or in a location. And, you know, you could literally go around and flash your now your actual tentacle QR code and sync all your GoPros up. And they'll drift a little bit, but they don't drift a lot. Um, so if you do it basically before every shot or even just a couple of times a day, your GoPros are gonna be really close. So for, for us drones, uh, you know, usually flying drones, we don't think too much about time code, um, but there are certainly lots of shots that I've been doing uh, on productions lately where you know, if, if, if I can get actual time code onto my files, then when post goes through and, and ingests all those files, they just drop into their timeline. And your footage is much more likely to get used if they can just drop it into the timeline. If they can't just drop it into the timeline, a slate is also good, uh, and, and they're used to using slates, but the best is for it to just drop in um, secondarily, a slate is good, but it's kind of a pain to slate every shot sometimes. Um, and if you don't have either of those, your footage is going to end up in the B-roll bin, which means you're counting on someone to go through your shots, find those shots in a separate B-roll bin, and, and match them up to the appropriate place where they want to live. So uh, you, you're happy with time code. So anyway, um, I'll let you know when, when the, the tentacle devs are able to push this beyond beta into the tentacle sync app uh, proper. At the moment, it's only on beta, only on iOS. Um, and I'm actually an Android guy. My day to day is Android. So um, anyway, I'll be working with them and, and uh, hoping to push this along. But yeah, time code for GoPros, real deal jam sync.